friends! Welcome back to Fun Toys RE. Today we're going to be doing some arts and crafts, some fun activities for fall because it's fall time. And I have a couple friends to help me out. We have Chase. Hi guys. We have Sky. Hello. Here's Marshall. How you doing? We have Zuma. Hi friends. And finally we have Rocky. Hi guys! And today all of these five Paw Patrol finger puppets are going to help me with my arts and crafts. Here I have some coloring book pages with cute fall leaves on them. I figured we could use these fall leaves and stick them to these fall trees. Do you see how there's pumpkins and there's the tree? And look, there's even an idea right here. But I thought we could just color our own leaves and glue them on. Does that sound like a fun idea, guys? <coughs> sounds like a fun idea, Miss Fun Toys. Yeah, I think that sounds really fun. Okay, so here we have some crayons to color in the cute leaves. And also some markers to outline the leaves. Now these leaves are kind of too large for this tree, but I figured if we could just cut and color these little ones, it'll work. Good idea. Also, another good idea is you could find leaves that have fallen off the trees in your backyard to glue onto the page. Wow, that's a pretty good idea, Zuma. But it's cold outside and I like to color, so I figured let's color these pages. Sounds like a plan. All right, which color should we use first? We have brown, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, black, pink, and gray. Hmm, well, fall colors are kind of the colors red and orange and yellow, kind of like those pumpkins. Oh yeah, you're right. So maybe we could use the color red, like my hat. Good idea, guys. Markers are kind of tricky to color with because sometimes they leak through paper. So in order to not leak through the paper, I figured I'd take this plain white sheet and slide it underneath the coloring book page. Slide it right under, and now it won't leak. Now I need the color red. There it is. Do you see how it says red right here? Perfect, and a red cap. Look at that pretty color. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm using the color red to outline this cute leaf. Yeah, 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 gotta outline all of the lines of the leaf so we can color it in later. I love doing arts and crafts with markers and crayons, it's so much fun. La, 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 la. That red looks awesome. Now we need a second color for the second leaf. Hmm, what should we pick? I know, I know, let's do the color orange. That's my favorite color. It matches my uniform. Okay, let's see, where's the color orange? Hmm, oh, it's right there. All right, here's the orange cap, and right here it's spelled out. Look at that pretty color, just for Zuma. Here we go again, it's time for more singing. Gotta outline all these lines. Gotta outline the leaf with this beautiful color, this beautiful color orange. I love using this orange marker when I do arts and crafts. Looks so beautiful, and it matches Zuma. Now we need a third color. I was thinking we could do the color yellow. Hmm, doesn't look like Rubble's here. That's too bad. It's his favorite color. Oh well, we'll still use it. Hmm, can you guys find the color yellow for me? Oh, there it is right there. Here you have the yellow cap. And of course it's spelled out. There it is. And look at that beautiful bright color. Oh yeah, it's time to sing some more. I love to sing and color and do arts and crafts. It's so much fun. Gotta use the yellow marker to outline the leaves. Gotta draw in the leaves with this cute yellow marker. It's so fun. That looks great. Now what do we do? Now we're going to do the same on the next sheet of paper. Move this one out of the way and place this one on top. Oops. Can we do my favorite color, the color green? It matches my uniform. Please, oh please. 
Sure, let's see. There it is. There's the green cap. And of course, the word green. There's the color green. And now we gotta sing. Oh yeah, yeah, I love to sing. You know how much I love to sing when I do my arts and crafts. I love this color the green, it's so pretty. Got it. color in the lines of this leaf. Got to outline the leaf so we can color it in later. It's gonna be so much fun. I love doing arts and crafts. Only two little leaves left to outline. Let's see, we need another color. I'm thinking brown. Good idea, Sky. That matches the bark of the tree. Let's see. There it is. Okay, here's the brown cap. And there's the word brown. Now we just got to take off this lid. Ta-da! Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's time for more singing. I love to sing when I do arts and crafts. Why don't you sing along with me? Gotta use this color brown to outline the leaf. Gotta draw in the leaf. Follow the lines with this color brown. This is so much fun. This is looking really great so far, but we still have one leaf left to outline. You're right, Chase. We have one little one right here. Which color should we use? We have brown, red, orange, yellow, and green. And those colors match this fall picture. Here we have the brown tree and the yellow, orange, and red pumpkins, and also the green grass. So what color should we use? Um, I know it's not really a fall color, but I think we should use purple. Purple? <laughs> All right, Rocky. If it makes you happy, we'll do the color purple. Yay! Out of these colors, which one is purple? Um, I think it's right there. Here's the purple cap. And the word is violet, but also purple. Ta-da! Now we have our final leaf to color in. It's a little leaf and we're gonna outline it with this purple marker. Purple marker, it's so pretty. Rocky wanted to use the purple marker. So now we just draw the lines. Do, 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 do. Now we have all of our little leaves outlined. We have red, orange, yellow, purple, green, and brown. Now we have to color in these cute little leaves with the crayons. Here's the crayons. Do you use crayons at your house when you color in a coloring book or on paper? Here, if we open this up right here. And there inside, do you see all those crayons? How cool. These crayons are jumbo. Look how big they are. Now we need to color in these leaves using these crayons. Red, yellow, orange, purple, green, and brown. Now, with a grown-up's help, you need scissors to cut out your leaves.
Now we have all six of our leaves done. We have purple, red, yellow, brown, orange, and green. They look so cute. Do we get to glue them on now? Sure thing. We gotta pull out one of these papers. And we're also going to need a glue stick to glue on the leaves. Ta-da! Now that we have all of our supplies, it's time to get started. Which color should we do first? Um, can we do the color red? You know I love the color red. Okay, Marshall. Gotta start by taking off the cap and flipping over your leaves and applying a little bit of glue on the back. Then you flip it back over and find a place to put it right there. Perfect. Can we do green now? Sure thing, Rocky, and I'm gonna sing while I do the rest. Now you gotta take a green leaf and you flip it over and you take your glue stick and you gotta put glue on the back and then you look for a spot to put it and voila. Let's do the orange leaf. It's my favorite color and it happens to match my uniform. Now you take the orange leaf and you flip it over and you put glue on it and then you place it on the tree wherever you want. How about we do that cute yellow leaf now? Rubble would like it. Gotta flip over that cute little yellow leaf and then put glue on it and then paste it to the paper. Let's do both the purple and the brown leaf this time. Okay, this time we'll do both leaves, but first we're going to take the little brown one and we'll flip it over and then glue it to the paper. And then we'll do the purple leaf and we'll flip it over and glue it to the paper and now it is all done. Look, our tree is complete. Look at our cute fall tree. Thanks Paw Patrol for helping me make all of these colorful leaves to glue onto our tree. Looks so beautiful. Now that our fall tree is complete, we're going to do our final craft. We're going to do this cute turkey. It's called a clothespin turkey. There's clothespins. There are little sticky parts for the clothespin. Hats for the turkey to wear. The turkeys. And all of the colorful, colorful feathers. And the turkey body. The material is foam, so it's really soft. And what we're going to do is take one of these turkeys and pop it out of these cutouts, just like this. And now you have a turkey, gobble gobble. Mr. Turkey over here is gonna need one of these cute hats. So we gotta pop out one of these and it looks just like this. Let's count the bumps on this turkey body. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we'll need nine feathers. There are four colors, yellow, orange, green, and red. So we will need two of each color and three of the red, because there are more reds. We'll need three of these foam feathers. Count with me. Here's the first one. Now we'll get a second one. These are kind of tricky to pop out. Here it is. And finally, our third one. Now we'll do the rest for the other colors. Will you guys help me build this turkey? You've gotta put all the stickers together. Um, yes, I will, but, uh, I have a question. What do turkeys have to do with fall, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, that's a very good question, Chase. Turkeys are around fall time because some people celebrate the holiday called Thanksgiving. Do any of you celebrate? Oh, I do, I do. Um, Skye, what is Thanksgiving? Well, it's a holiday where you celebrate everything you're grateful for, and you have a big feast to celebrate. Oh, that sounds like an interesting holiday. Ooh, I love turkeys. Me too. Me as well. The cool things about these crafts is that you don't have to use scissors or glue sticks because there's these little tiny sticky things on the back. 
all you have to do is take one of these and you turn it over and you peel off the back and there's a sticky side to it. And you could just place it right onto the turkey. Like this. Perfect. And now you just put one of each color on, making a pattern. There, now look at all these beautiful feathers, and it makes a pattern. Red, green, yellow, orange, red, green, yellow, orange, and red. Now, all you have to do is take the turkey, and you peel off the backside, and you place them right in the middle. So you just take off this back piece, peel it right off. And then you place them right in the center of all of his beautiful feathers. And voila! Now all we have to do is add the hat. So we're going to peel off the sticky side of the hat. And then we're just going to place it right on top of the cute turkey's head. And now we have a cute turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble! Gobble, gobble! Thanks for doing these fun fall activities with me. We have our colorful tree and we have our cute little turkey. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for letting us help you. Oh, my pleasure. And I learned so much. I learned about a new holiday called Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's so much fun. And I learned that I like to eat turkey. <laughs> all right, well, that's all we have for today. But if you'd like to see more arts and crafts videos or videos featuring the Paw Patrol pups, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Bye. Gobble, gobble, gobble!